Hello everybody and welcome to an update video which I know isn't always the most exciting but a lot of things have changed for me recently. For example, I'm recording this in my car currently which maybe is what you hear in the background is a noisy freeway or just the general sounds of a car rumbling. Um, this video is later than I wanted it to be. Uh, a lot of things came up and I wasn't necessarily in the right place to be feeling like I could make a video like this. Um, I apologize. I don't think, well, except for during the holidays, like during Christmas, I haven't gone this long without uh, uploading a video. But, um, all that aside, I'm not really sure how to start this, I guess, but, um, the second week of May, so, okay, I have two big updates, I guess. One of which is fairly emotional, um, so I guess skip ahead if you don't want to hear that part, but, um... The second one is more to do with stuff to do with the channel. But the first update, and I'll try to be brief, is that I had to put my dog down the first week of May. Um, and you all may have heard him in the background jingling away, and he won't be doing that anymore. Um, and I had a week. Uh, that first week of May, I, um, I even had Final Fantasy videos recorded and stuff, but that first week of May I found out um, and I spent that whole week taking him on really long walks. And giving him all the, you know, yummy food he wanted and stuff. And trying to make it a good week for him. And for me. Um, he's, he was my dog for eight years. So. After that. I wasn't necessarily in a good headspace to be making videos and sounding happy, you know. Life moves on, and things have, lots happened after that, besides that, but that was something I still haven't been able to move past a lot. Um, I, anyway, um, he was a good boy. He did his best. But, so that means I wasn't necessarily in a good headspace for recording videos at the time, um, but beyond that, um, I, the big update I guess for the channel, and if you wanted to skip ahead, this is where that is, um, is that I had decided a couple months ago, my, well, my, my housemates decided they were selling their house, right? We've been in there for three years. They were needing a big change, uh, wanting to do other things with their lives, and that house was just too big, and it was, you know, there's too much going on, and I knew that we were not, you know, it wasn't going to be like every, we were all going to be living there until we were like 80 years old, right? So when they decided to sell the house, and it was all obviously amenable and every obviously like it wasn't I don't know I'm, I don't know why I'm bringing that part up but we they decided to move and what I decided to do and that I felt like it was a good time to do was for me to do something that I wanted to do for a while which was live nomadically um, not only can I not afford to live in the state that I currently sort of reside in um, without the generous help or the generous I guess cheap rent that my friends let me live at um, I, I cannot afford to live in this state in any sort of housing. But besides that, several of my archaeologists, coworkers, and friends have lived a, what we call nomadically, I guess, or anybody calls it that. But what, what I would call it with them is where they don't really have a fixed location. Um, they just live out of their car and they drive from contract to contract or to work assignment from work assignment, you know? Because as archeologists, we have like one week where we're working and camping or staying in hotels and we have an off session where we live wherever else we wanna live. In this instance, for a long time, I had thought that that sounded difficult but really interesting and like a really good way to like explore like various national parks and state parks and, and all kinds of the cool outdoorsy things that like America has to offer, especially here out west, you know? And so when my friends were like, we're, we're probably going to move, you know, I was like, this is a really good time for me to do that. Um, and that was decided several months ago, or I guess a few months ago. Um, and, and I've been kind of working ever since on get it, getting that figured out. And um, it kind of hit, you know... 
I, I didn't, after my dog and everything, I, I don't know, I, it, it kind of, things went downhill very quickly, but the week after I had to put him down, um, was the week I had to be out of the house, like the house, by we, cause we had sold the house, just like we had, a, we had a bid for it and everything, and we needed to be out by the 17th. Um, and so, you know, combined with everything, it just wasn't a great, it wasn't a great time. I didn't have a lot of time. I didn't have the emotional fortitude. And I mean, I'm not as, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was trying to keep it all straight in my head and I don't know if I have. I am excited to be living nomadically. I, it is a very bittersweet though, in a way, because of, you know, having to lose my dog and everything and, and, but anyway, I don't know if this is even making any sense, <laughs> but, um, okay. I had to take a bit of a breath. Sorry. The moving thing and my dog has been sort of tied up together in my head. So it's still, it's kind of difficult to talk about. I, I am enjoying it. What am I am, I'm three weeks or so into it. It hasn't gone at all how I expected in a lot of ways. I was, I was always thinking, you know, that I would be working for eight days and then for six days I'd find a campground. Like I'd found, I found all these campgrounds, you know, like my dog and I would sit on the couch and we would make plans, you know, but I'm sorry. I was trying to keep the emotional bit at the beginning, but as you can probably understand, it's all been a bit tied up. Um, I was very heartbroken to lose him and I still am, but, um, simultaneously, and maybe this is just what's so odd is I, I keep bouncing back and forth between like heartbreak and being very excited to be living a nomadic adventurous life. And again, it's, it's so hard. I'm recording in my car right now. I was editing some Mass Effect Legendary Edition videos in my car when I was staying at a campground in Lake Tahoe. Like, you know, like, and I can only play the video games so far when I'm visiting at my sister's place, um, which is where I'm kind of using as a home base of operations and where I'm keeping my gaming stuff for the most part. Um, so I am getting a chance to record a bit, but the problem is too, is that like, you know, I'm in the middle of their tiny two bedroom apartment in the living room and I have to take up the whole space and it's just kind of awkward, <laughs> but, um, like just cause I feel bad digging up so much of their space. Right. So, so I'm still trying to work on some sort of system for this, but my, I guess long winded again is that I am going to be trying to record and upload videos um, throughout this whole thing. Um, it's probably going to be a year of me living, at least for the summer and the fall, and like this, the rest of this year. For Christmas, I'll probably go live out with my parents again, like I usually do for about a month or so. And then after that, who knows? I've got some vague plans for the future, but who knows what those are going to pan out. But I, I am happy to be living this adventure life that I always kind of wanted to. It always appealed to me living like, you know, nomadically as a kid. Of course, it's very romanticized when you're a kid. And as an adult, I knew it would be difficult. And in some ways, it's very difficult. I'm very tired, <laughs> but it also hasn't gone to plan, which is another thing that you should expect in life, <laughs> where that I don't just get to have six days where I stay in a campground and use my Dutch oven and like hang out and like like visit play like visit one place for six days so far it's been a lot of running around and every couple of days like the first campground I stayed in I ended up only being able to stay for one night because they were starting with their reservation system the next day they were going from winter system to summer system so I got booted out and I went and stayed in like a different place and then I crossed through Death Valley which that was on purpose I've always wanted to do that and that was really cool right um, and so much like Tahoe was beautiful. I'm sure there's a bunch. I'm, I'm hopefully putting up pictures in the video so you guys can see. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've seen some amazing things and I've been able to visit, uh, like my sisters and stuff that live a little bit spread out from me and, 
and I've really truly enjoyed it. I've missed video games, I've missed you guys, I've missed Final Fantasy, and I've even missed Outer Worlds. <laughs> no, I do enjoy Outer Worlds, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think that was that's the one I upload the least recently, like in recently, in the last two months, so I apologize for that, but um, even before that I was, you know, trying to figure out how to, like, you know, before this last month, I've been trying to figure out how to how to do all this and and I'm bad at uploading anyway, so anyway, I started to ramble, I think, so I probably hopefully cut out some of that. But um, anyway, I hope I've been able to convey what I what I was trying to convey, um, sort of how things have been going, um, and and I am gonna try to be uploading. I hope those of you that have Mass Effect Legendary Edition are enjoying it. It's so fun. If I can ever get those videos, I, I upload, I, I've made five videos so far and edited two of them. <laughs> so if I can ever get those uploaded, it's probably like way too late. No one's talking about Mass Effect Legendary Edition anymore, but um, I'm excited for it. And, and I, hope, I hope you guys are enjoying it, those of you that are able to play. Um, so yeah, I guess quick recap. I'm living nomadically, occasionally going to my sister's place where I can use my technology to record videos. Um, I'll try to keep you guys updated with like the text posts on like the community updates tab every week or so. Um, I am still doing archaeology. I just did a session last week actually where I went back to Dinosaur National Monument and finished up a few, just a couple days worth of stuff that we had to do out there. Um, and I will be going, where am I going? I'm going somewhere this upcoming week. But also this weekend I'm helping my family, at least a little bit, move out to Missouri. Everybody's moving. It's been a real, not just for me, it's been a chaotic month and year so far for my entire family. So that also has been something to take into account. It's just so much going on right now. And so much change in the air. Some good and some bad. And, and some in between and some I don't know. But at the same time, it's interesting to look forward and hope for the best. You know what I mean? And, and, and do the best with, with what I can. And, and, and truly I am, this is, I'm hoping this is gonna be a grand adventure. And so far it has been, even if it's not quite <laughs> how I planned it. But that's even, I don't know, it's kind of for the best, you know? So in that, I'm just having to roll with the punches, you know, so I'll try to keep you guys updated and maybe post some pictures And if you're interested in videos of the areas I visit, let me know. I don't want to become a travel blog or anything But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm not sure how long this video was I wasn't I should have maybe written down what I wanted to say, but then I would have started crying and rambling anyway, I think so <laughs> I hope, I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope you can understand the situations that I'm that I'm dealing with, and and, and that uh, wish me luck in trying to to record and keep doing videos because I still I love playing video games and I love sharing video games with you guys and whoever else wants to watch and hang out. I I truly do. Like it sounds so cliche, but it's it's been a defining factor of my life for the last like I don't know six years or so, seven eight. I don't know, man. It's been a long time. So <laughs> thank you all for listening to this rambly video. I appreciate it. And um, it's been a good ride. And let's, uh, let's hope it keeps going. I, I'll talk to you guys later.